Friends, it's Charles here, and I want to talk about Suicide Squad Kill Arkham Asylum. Uh, this is the official prequel to uh, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. The game has been critically, critically reviewed and panned, but this, thankfully, is not of the same quality. Um, I read this yesterday, and I really enjoyed it. First off, the art style is a lot different from the other titles I'm reading um, from DC involving these characters. And that would make sense because it's in a different universe. It's not in the canon that is running through Harley Quinn and Batman and um, the new Suicide Squad that I just started the other day. This is in the video game uh, setting. There, a couple of spoilers may happen. Um... First off, starting with uh, Go with Gordon not being the police chief, but the mayor of Gotham. And after some issues with Arkham Asylum, Amanda Waller is put in charge of the new Arkham Asylum. And things are pretty bleak and dismal. Uh, there's inmate abuse and other issues that you would expect to come from Amanda Waller. Um, running something, and the art style is very ominous. It's a very ominous, dark feel throughout the pages of this. And you know, certain characters, you know, what, what I like is how you look at Batman here, he is very imposing and brooding and intimidating. Um, you know, he's almost like, like this mysterious force outside of this story. Um, and so I enjoyed that as well. And you get to see a lot of familiar characters drawn in new, interesting ways that I really enjoyed. Um, you get to see a fleshed out Harley Quinn, who is Harley Quinn, but she's also Dr. Quinzel. And she's, you know, and she still has that same snark and attitude about her, but is arguably a little bit more insane. I really enjoyed number one. It's one of five. I have number two. I'm going to get in that part later on tonight. But I would suggest picking this up. Even if you didn't like the game, this is a solid standalone story outside of the current canon and what's going on with these characters. And I really enjoyed it. So that is my review of Suicide Squad Kill Arkham Asylum. If there's anything you'd like me to take a look at in the future, uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these videos, and uh, let me know what you're reading. Um, as always, uh, my comics I get from Coffee and a Comics in Huntington Beach, California. They're a great store, great service. I personally, since I go to our books, I pay a monthly shipping subscription. And all my books come with no additional shipping. From California to Wyoming at my front door packed safely and securely and I will be doing another box unboxing this week of my books to show you how they're packed and you know how great everything comes. So anyway I'll see you guys next time. Check out Suicide Squad, Kill Arkham Asylum and tell me what you think about the game personally if you have gotten into it.